When I was a kid, I really loved to be outside and play in the creek in my backyard. My favorite thing to do was to go with my friends and catch crawdads and catch salamanders and bring them in my house and keep them as pets. I knew I loved nature, but I also was really interested in doing something that would make a difference, that would help people, that would help make the world a better place. And I found myself really drawn to environmental chemistry. I'm Jana Compton. I'm a research ecologist with the Environmental Protection Agency. I'm based at the Western Ecology Division in Corvallis, Oregon. I've been with EPA for 17 years. I work on water quality related issues and most of my research focuses on nutrient pollution and the impacts of nutrients in the environment. That would include things like fertilizer inputs from agriculture, biological nitrogen fixation, point sources from the end of a pipe or from the top of a factory smokestack and trying to look at the relative importance of those different sources of nutrients in the environment. Sometimes it's hard to talk about nutrient pollution because you really have to visualize something that you can't see. We apply nutrients to the land to get crops to grow better and to have optimal crop growth but some of those nutrients move out of the intended use. So in farm systems they might leach below the rooting zone and end up in groundwater or move into surface waters where they can cause problems. There's also the release of particulates that move into the atmosphere and can cause human health problems. And so those are all parts of the nitrogen cycle which I study that we try to quantify so we know where the nitrogen's coming from and then what the impacts are. So really, it is an important part of what EPA does is trying to understand the role of nutrients and to help come up with strategies for reducing the impacts and the release of nutrients to the environment. Our goal is to share that information with our farmers so they can maybe make adjustments so that we're not having as much nitrate going into the groundwater. There is a great deal of knowledge and concern about this topic here, so that makes it really nice to be able to have those conversations because a lot of the concerns that we work on, a lot of the impacts that we think about, the drinking water issues, the air particulate issues are very much related to human health. And so I think those are things that are very important for EPA to keep a hold of, to pay attention to, to be monitoring, to be measuring. We really are trying to help people.